Thank you, Mr. Speaker. There should not be anybody in this room arguing that $7.25 an hour is sufficient for a worker's well-being. When adjusted for inflation, $7.25 is less than the federal minimum wage of 50 years ago. I support this bill because 98,000 workers in my district in Pennsylvania deserve a long overdue raise. We are now in the midst of the longest period of time without an increase to the federal minimum wage. I support this bill because while corporations are making record profits off the backs of workers, wage stagnation and increased cost of living have bankrupted hardworking families across my district. This bill would increase the minimum wage gradually. This is not a bad for business piece of legislation, as my colleagues across the aisle allege. It's a good for everyone bill that puts more money into our workers' pockets. Our colleagues of the past would, ba would be baffled by the opposition to this bill. May I have 30 more seconds, sir? Give the lady 30, more, 30 seconds more. Thank you. The Federal Labor Standards Act was passed in 1938 for the explicit purpose of protecting workers from substandard wages. And that landmark bill passed the House by a vote of 291 to 89. By the letter of that law, the minimum standard of living necessary for a worker's well-being is in Congress's hands. Members of both parties chose not to leave it up to market forces because poverty level wages, sweatshops, and poor working conditions should not happen in the United States of America in 1938 or in 2019. Thank you.